Let's look at how we could easily access and control all plugin parameters using the MIDI remote. Often when we think of controlling plugin parameters, we think of quick controls. So our quick controls allow us to have eight sliders or knobs on your MIDI control and control the currently active plugin with the focused quick controls. These are very fast, very easy to set up. And if we wanted to change which parameter of a plugin is changed by a particular quick control, we can click on the QC icon and we could see our drop down menu of all of the parameters, or we could click on the L button and simply select the parameter to update it so that we can set particular parameters to con be controlled by our eight quick controls. Now the problem with quick controls could be that if your plugin has a lot of different parameters, we can only have eight of our kind of top parameters that are accessed by quick controls. So if we wanted to access more parameters for your plugin, we could go to the remote control editor. So if you click on this little triangle that points down, we could go to the MIDI remote control editor for the plugin itself. And if we see a number of different banks of parameters, so we can see that we're going to have our layout set to eight parameters. And that's a good, uh, a good layout for us since we have eight faders. And what we could do is assign different functions for each of these eight parameters, but we have multiple pages of eight parameters. So if your plugin has seven parameters, you may see one page. If your plugin has 80 parameters, you'd probably see 10 pages. And we could assign different parameters for plugins to different slots on different pages. So if I wanted to learn and to assign a different parameter, I could click on the L button, very similar to what we did on the quick controls, select the function, let's go maybe to our cabinets, and I want to select different cabinets. I could now assign that particular function to be in this slot in this mapping page. How do we get the mapping page to be controlled by the MIDI remote? So what I did is I created a new mapping page. So basically I just came in and we said, okay, I wanted to create, I click on the plus sign and I've created a new mapping page and I have this completely blank now. So what this means is I have my physical layout of my controls, but no parameters that are assigned to the particular controls. So I'm going to go to the mapping assistant and let's open up the functions browser. We're going to go to selected track to insert and strip effects. We'll go to insert viewer and let's go to our setup. So we'll see that we want to, we have eight faders. We want to have this parameter value count match the number of faders that we're using. We can now go to actions. So I want, I have two buttons here and I want to use these to bank between the different pages. So I'm going to hit the right button and we'll say next parameter bank, hit the left button. And that will be set up for the previous parameter bank. I'm going to select my fader one. I move it and I double click this for parameter one, move fader two, double click, move fader three, double click. And we'll just do this for all of our eight faders. So now what we could do is open up, go to our plugin and we can see that as we go to, let's say our amplifier section that I'm on page one and we can control this. Then I'm going to hit the button to go to the next parameter bank. And as I adjust, I could switch my different cabinets. I could switch my different amplifiers. So if I just wanted to come over here, so this way I could easily navigate between multiple pages of different parameters that will be our go-to parameter. So I could adjust, come over here. I want to switch the amplifier. I want to switch the cabinets. So we could access all of our different plugin parameters in different banks of eight. And if I have a different plugin open, once I have it configured, my plugin parameters, and once this is the active 
we can just come right over here and be able to adjust all of the parameters for the currently active plugin. So if you're looking for a way to easily access all of your plugin parameters, you could use the MIDI remote with the parameters section. So if you're looking for an easy way to have access and control of all of your plugin parameters, you could do it with your MIDI remote. If you have found this video helpful, please feel free to hit the like button and to subscribe to the channel.